What they look like? It's meals, meals, meals. You thanks. Hit it harder. Be the logo. Yeah, yeah. Hit it harder. Yeah, hit it harder. Yeah, hit it harder. Yeah, hit it harder. Yeah, going harder. Playing smarter. Going farther. Hit it harder. Yo, ho, ho, ho. I'm Jason Eubanks and welcome to another Hit It Harder Ball Review. Today we're going to be looking at the Black Venom by Motive. We're going to be bowling at Bolero Gilbert in Gilbert, Arizona. Going to be bowling on a slightly, very slightly used house shot. All right, so we're going to start the five shot challenge. I'm going to be getting loose with the Supernova, of course, because that's just my solid ASIM go-to right now and kind of see where these balls kind of line up together. So we're going to start the five shot challenge. The ball has never touched the lane. And a little behind the scenes, sorry for the audio. I was playing around with my camera and I never changed it back. So the audio may be a little bit off, but manageable enough. Slight rookie mistake. <laughs> sorry about that. All right, well, let's check out that five shot challenge. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Mr. U Banks. Here with another bar review. Five shot challenge. Today, we're gonna look at that uh, Black Venom. I'm um, getting loose with the Supernova. This is a slightly, barely used house shop, fresh from this morning. It is a uh, Easter Saturday recording. Uh, all we had was the juniors on this. What their averages were, I don't know. But three games of junior bowling trios, so. Not much traffic. Uh, so, the last time we used the Supernova in the motor video didn't turn out quite so well, but I have bigger hopes for this one. Hopefully something that's, uh, you know, playable. So I'm gonna throw one more shot with the Supernova. Kinda see what's out there. Fairly loose, fairly lined up. Then we'll get it switched over. Okay, so now um, I'm going to change balls here, start this five shot challenge. Ball, never touch the lane. Black Venom, motive. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves here. <laughs> uh, first shot, let's go. As you guys can see, the socks are back. For those that missed the socks last video. Okay. Whoever drilled my stuff got it pretty down on. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Fig, nah. All right, first shot. Black Venom. Woohoo! That's one. So I was hoping it would be a little bit. I mean, better than the ambush already. So the ambush is the worst motive ball I ever put out. We all know that already. Um, as far as usability, you can actually use this thing, right? <laughs> so far. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm over here choking. So first shot, same place. See what we get. That's some light mixes here. Seven pin is the enemy here. Um, but that already looks good. I can kind of tell when I drill stuff how strong these covers are based on the pencil lines. You know, you mark a bowling ball and if the pencil lines like bleed into the ball, they got that dirt surface on it. <laughs> So, um, that wasn't too bad. I just got to get a little bit further right. Kind of missed in, but it, it held its own. So, third shot. See if we 
get away with those. That's shot number three. Like what I'm seeing so far, nice smooth motion. It's actually usable, you know? Because <laughs> what's good, what's the bowling ball good for if you can't throw it everywhere, you know? We don't buy these $200, $250 bowling balls to only be able to throw them on one thing. House bowlers like myself run the industry. <laughs> so that shot three. See if we can get this a little bit further right. Money. <laughs> wow. Four. That's what I'm saying. Off the hand, you should just know what the ball is going to do. There's no denying it. It's like off the hand, it got to the spot. That's where I want it. And you guys know I don't throw solid eight sims like this. So, I went with a longer, uh, not longer, but usually I'm in the 65 range, 60, 65, with my pearls, eight sims. I took this one to 70, just to see. Fifth shot. Can't go wrong with that. Looks good so far. Okay, you guys just watched the five shot challenge. We're gonna head over to the edit. The edit picks up directly after the five shot challenge. And if I threw it, it's in the video. Next beat you're gonna hear is still produced by your boy, Mr. You Banks. And this beat is called Time Has Come. So Patreon members and that level of YouTube member, check out those links on the post. That's where the beat folder is. So check that out, download all them joints. All right, so let's go check out that edit. Final thoughts, I know me and Motive didn't get along on the last review, kind of created a little bit of stir, you know what I mean? This one is a whole lot different. 
It's actually usable, versatile. It actually gets down the lane. Balls don't have to hook at your feet for them to actually work. Make something people can use. This is it. This ball is like low key aggressive. When I first started throwing it, it didn't give me the, the feeling of, okay, this thing's gonna hook off the lane. But in the end, that's kind of what it started doing. Because I don't like my motions kind of early and smooth like that, it's kind of hard for me to read. So as you saw in the edit, I was missing my moves where I should have been moving and I'd just go high. And I was like, well, maybe I threw a bad shot, throw it again, go high again. Then I'd move like four boards and it's like, oh, okay, I was supposed to move that shot. <laughs> so that motion is hard for me to, to visualize anymore, you know what I mean? But definitely a good ball. I'd even say great ball coming out of Motive. Um, they really rebounded from that jackal ambush, which we do not even speak about anymore. All right, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching.